Yo, what's going on and welcome back to another Genshin Impact video and today we're going to be looking at the new boss, the Cryo Hypostasis. Now this one's going to be important because I believe that this uh, Crystalline Bloom material is going to be used for Eula and I plan on getting her. So I want to start farming a little bit of it now so we can get it ready and make sure we have it when she's actually coming out. Now. This new hypostasis can be found here in Dragon Spine, and it doesn't seem like you actually have to do anything to unlock the ability to fight it. So let's go ahead and get over there. And he should have some new interesting moves. Um, the area is extremely cold, huh? So we might need to actually use these, but he should have different moves than hypostasis that we've seen Got in the it. past. Okay, my computer's having some troubles at the moment. But we'll get the, the free Primo gem. I think I did something. And now it seems to be struggling a little bit. But let's go ahead and see if we can... I guess we probably can't do damage to him while he's like that, huh? Gather. I would assume that in a way Zhongli can ignore much of uh, a boss like this. Because we could just shield up and pretty much tank it. But we'll try and show like what his moves are, even though it seems to be lagging a little bit. Oh my! <laughs> okay, that Hu Tao damage. Man, I'm struggling. Solidify. Order guide you. I don't know what I did. I thought I I closed. Or I stopped everything that should have um, should have been slowing down my computer. Okay, so uh, Hu Tao just like three shots this guy. Oh, we have to do something. Stabilize. What are we doing? Can we attack these fruits? How do we do that? Oh man. We are on the struggle bus at the moment, huh? This is the worst it's ever been. Does my computer like need a restart or something? But what are we supposed to do with these? Oh! You knock them into his shield. And we're freezing again. Maybe the game just needs a restart or something. I did leave it on for a while while I was doing some other stuff. Ah, uh, you're gonna die. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hu Tao almost died. Uh, I mean, I apologize for the lag, but... Uh, not too much I could do about it. We still pretty much saw everything, it was just a few of the frames were lost to lag. So we got three of these, uh, doesn't seem like there's anything else special that you're getting from the hypostasis. Um, you're probably always going to have a pretty decent chance at a single 5-star artifact from the... What are these two sets called again? Wanderer's Troop and Gladiator's whatever. Gladiator's Finale. So you'll probably have a decent chance at a 5-star artifact of those. I mean, we can take a look at that artifact, see if it's... Um, I didn't actually look at it when we clicked on it. I, everything is just laggy, huh? I think this game just needs a restart. I've never had that happen before where the... The game seems to be laggy. Maybe, maybe I should just restart everything. But um, this feather is horrible. <laughs> All right, sorry I asked. The same as um, but that is the cryo hypostasis. Um, definitely something that I'm gonna be farming a little bit to make sure we get some of those uh, crystalline fragments. And then um, as far as other things that we need to take a look at, we still need to go get this domain. I don't think it has any requirements besides just go go walk up and talk to it and we still need to go find that other world boss so that'll be on the list but today's going to be a short one just because i wanted to unlock uh or like show this new boss off as well as what materials we can get from it and he didn't like his moves didn't seem like anything crazy the only thing that i struggled with was figuring out how to break his shield which turns out you just want to launch those balls into him which I did with charged attacks. It seemed like regular attacks weren't doing it, weren't moving the balls at all. So I think you need to use charged attacks or you're gonna wanna use something strong that can actually knock them into him. 
Other than that, it looked like Hu Tao could essentially just three shot this guy with charge attacks. So if you have a Hu Tao, or I'm sure just any good fire character that's going to be able to melt, even Yan Fei, um, should be doing great against him. But either way, that's going to do it for this one short one today. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.